All right, today we're going to look at a Jones and Shipman. Uh, this is a model 1307. It's part of their uh, 1300 series. Uh, this is obviously a, a longer machine, a bigger machine, a bigger working envelope here. Um, the specs will be lit listed in our quotation on our website. Uh, but we have a universal grinder, we have a spindle here that's live and dead, and we can uh, set different angles on here, rotate this, it swivels. Uh, we have a swiveling wheel head. We swivel down here uh, to spin the whole thing around to bring the ID unit to the front to use the internal grinder, which we're going to show you. And then we have another swivel at the base of this so that you can turn the whole approach of the slide to uh, say 30 degrees if you wanted to make it into an angle head grinder. So the entire slide, cross slide, can be turned um, also, swiveled also. So that's pretty nice. Uh, you got a pretty impressive, pretty heavy duty size tailstock here. Uh, you got uh, indicator here for table adjustment, taper adjustment, ID spindle on the back, um, variable speed in, in that you have to change a couple of different pulleys on here. You have uh, certain speeds which will be listed or seen in the photograph of the label. Um, these are nice grinders. Uh, so I'm going to go over a few of the controls. Obviously, uh, this is going to start your hydraulics, this is going to start your grinding wheel, and this is going to start uh, workhead and coolant. Now we have a coolant system with this machine and an external hydraulic uh, tank which is over here just sticking out on the end there. There's two hoses and a drain that have to be connected and one cable. Um, so the controls in the front here, uh, let's, let's start this up. That's your hydraulic. Um, that'll start your table. So we can work with this machine completely manual. You can be moving this table by hand if you wanted. It even has a, a fine feed dial here. You would clamp this down and you'd be able to move the table just by turning this knob if we weren't running under hydraulic power right now. So that's a, that's a pretty neat feature. Again, this is kind of like a tool room grinder also. Uh, you see here as we're feeding, we're, 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 we're clicking down with the in-feed hand wheel. Uh, the amount that that clicks down is adjustable with this uh, setting on the side here. You also have a means of, of just doing this uh, individually like that when you're in the manual mode. Your table speed is adjusted from here. You can slow this down. Or stop it. Now when you stop it, you have another set, a, a no, no, knob in the middle. This is actually a mode knob. Uh, so when I switch this over like this, I'm going to actually get a, uh, a plunge feed. See, now we're feeding. And you could change the, uh, the, 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 the velocity or the, 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 how quickly this feeds. There's a knob here that allows you to slow this down. Okay, so that's pretty neat. In the center, it's just a hand feed machine. Okay, and you also have here a, a uh, course adjustment to get this wheel slide in and out quickly. And then you have here a fine feed dial. You pull this out and rotate it, and you're actually moving your dead stop a little bit each time. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff here that you can do. Um, got some splash guards on the back here. I'm going to take it off. Have an ID spindle mounted there. Um, most cases you probably want to take the tailstock off the machine, but I'm not going to try to do that. I'm going to um, move this over. Hopefully I can clear this, just for the demo anyway. Well, you see this is the top swivel here. When this comes around, put that on zero, then you clamp it down. There's two nuts there to clamp it down, and then you, uh, you have your ID spindle. Now, if I start the grinding wheel up, now right now for the demo, I have the belt connected. If you were only going to do external grinding, you'd probably want to take this belt off so that you're not 
I'm not constantly running this spindle. So that sounds pretty damn good for an ID spindle. Um, again, you'd probably want to work with the machine by hand. I wouldn't recommend, I mean, it, this doesn't have a retraction or uh, approach. It's not that type of machine, so uh, this is very good for um, tool room application, uh, you know, not large jobs, but uh, again, most people would do your ID grinding by hand rather than using the automatic functions. But I guess you could if you were careful. So that's it. That's the, Oak, that's the Jones and Shipman's 1307. Uh, it's a really great looking machine, a great grinder. Thank you very much. Okay, I just wanted to come back and say a couple of other things about this uh, spindle in here. Uh, we do have a couple of uh, additional ones that go with this. Uh, there's a taper on here that fits inside, the, inside there, and on the back here is a threaded rod with a nut. It goes all the way through and, sp and screws into the back here. I think it's like a quarter twenty or five sixteenths thread. It may be some British uh, standard thread, but uh, we do have a couple of extra ones, and you can obviously uh, make your own if you needed to. So I wanted to show you that. There's also the coolant tank that goes with it. That's um, a paper band system. It has a roll of paper in there that filters the stuff, and it advances itself automatically uh, to some clean paper. The dirty stuff goes in the garbage pail on the floor. Then we've got this cabinet here. Um, with some stuff on it. This is a eight inch, a four jaw chuck. Um, I'm not sure who makes it, but we'll have that listed. If there's a name on it, we'll list that on our quotation. Uh, this is a Jones and Shipman special adapter. Uh, this is what goes in the spindle. Same with on this chuck. Anything that goes in that uh, spindle needs to have this taper, whether it's a center holder, which we have in there right now, probably a reduction sleeve from one of these to a number two or three Morse taper. This is a 14 inch slotted face plate. Comes with the grinder. And this is a table mounted, a diamond that you could use to dress the diamond wheel. So that's, uh, that's it. In the cabinet here, there's some used grinding wheels. There's no new grinding wheels. Uh, a couple of screws and nuts and stuff like that, an extra grinding hub, and a um, wrench for the chuck, some blotters and some, some, some little, little uh, drive dogs and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll put everything in the cabinet and lock everything up and keep it with the grinder and hopefully uh, everything will be there. So thank you very much. That's uh, all for today.